future, talk radio will actually educate, inspire, and make you think. The future is now. Topics and music that affect your life. From Universal Broadcasting Network. Tune in at UBNRadio.com. Thank you for being... Boulevard. Life is a banquet, and most poor suckers are starving to death. I'd like to propose a toast. This is On The Rocks with Alexander, coming at you from Sunset Gower Studios in the heart of Hollywood, where I drink with your favorite celebrities, and we talk about fashion, entertainment, pop culture, reality TV, and... and that's about it. So pop a court, pour a glass, lean back, and enjoy On The Rocks every Tuesday at 7 p.m. on Universal Broadcasting Network. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Oh, my lord, my lord, my lord, fashion rocks. Fashion, fashion rocks. Fashion, fashion. On the rocks where celebrities and cocktails mix, sometimes well, sometimes poorly. <laughs> I am your host, Melania Trump. It's a pleasure <laughs> to be here. <laughs> I can't even the with The hosts change every week. I know. That's, that's part of the thing. <laughs> um, you know, now we're at an hour and a half, and I've gotten comments. They're like, you know, for the last half hour, you're slurring your words. So I saw the best thing today. No, I am not slurring my words. I am speaking in cursive. Yes. So we are speaking cursive to you. Uh, we, uh, we are here live every Tuesday. We want to say hello to our audience. Audience on iHeartRadio, iTunes, Spreaker, Stitcher, Tuner, Player FM, Satchel Podcast, Hillcrest Social App, and coming very soon uh, <clears throat> next week to the Reverie Network. Woo! Uh, we're so excited. So, hello to all of our listeners. Uh, as usual, I have to introduce, introduce the men of On the Rocks. Mans, the men. The men. I have the Whoa Man, my <laughs> resident socialite, Eric Restivo. Hello, yeah. hello, hello. Oh my God, the studio audience. Woo! It's out it's of control, control today. They're really out hyper today. Um, and then, of course, we have our, our, our token straighty, <laughs> Kurt Carlson. Hey, straighty. Hey, how's it going? Hey, hey, hey Kurt. Hey. Hey. What's up? What's up? Thanks man? for dressing up for our, our fashion episode. Hey, well, I really I'm, appreciate I'm it. Red like him, so. Oh, yeah, it looks just the same. I can see your box. <laughs> I can see your same. boxers from here. Oh, They're boxers and briefs. Well, well, we know the answer to that. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, Kurt, do you, do you have a pun for us today? Uh, I always have a pun. Okay, for you. what is it? Uh, what do you call an alligator in a vest? Uh, oh, the fashion. I, I like it. You, you put the some thought in this. An alligator with a vest. Uh, um, give it to me. An investigator. Ooh, that's good. I you know you. you're not allowed to add fake spilled, uh, laughter yeah. when the pun is miserable. <laughs> oh my god! You spill all over yourself. You already have I the guests so laughing excited. at you. I know. I'm like, wow. Jesus. I'm I'm speaking in cursive. <laughs> um, today's show is is so big. We have we have so many things happening. Um, our our guest co-host is Renee Horst, celebrity celebrity stylist. Celebrity, celebrity. Horse celebrity stylist. He is hanging out with housewives all the time. He's styling uh, stars from TV, film, um, every huge star. Um, he's he's worked with, um, and he's he's besties with Miss Joan Collins, which we have some insider we will picks get into for that. that right. Um, so he's going to help us co-host today. Uh, we have model Stephen Deller, who's also uh, a musician, by the way, and very smart. Well, I don't know about that. Well, I know about it. We'll I'm find out smart. with our rapid fire five. <laughs> that's true. We yeah. have some math Those equations in this quick. one. Yeah, I yeah, 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 I took true. them all out. No, uh, I did no long division, though. That's just not fair. <laughs> <laughs> so no. We won't do that. <laughs> um, uh, so we have Stephen Deller. So excited uh, to talk to him. Because, you know, because we've seen him everywhere. But, like, I've never, like gotten to talk to him i've never seen him before actually this is my first oh, time please. meeting him yeah no, never ever <laughs> i can't even go to the post office it's like steven deller d- delivers your mail i'm like oh, okay here we it'll go it'll be an app next week <laughs> yes uh, but we do have some fun fi- pictures from the past boop, boop. Okay. yes well, for our very that- own steven deller blackout um and then if that wasn't enough uh we have country music star and a horror novelist uh casey lansdale is actually performing live here and she's been blowing it out of the park all over the nation. Um, she just had a great show at Molly Malone's. Um, and she's on Finding Bigfoot this next Where season. Where she which I'm was obsessed serenading with. Bigfoot. Bigfoot. And we have right. a little clip from that. But she's going to perform for us live. And then the man of the hour. <laughs> and so we're going to do a drinking game. Every time I say Marco more than twice in a row. because when, when But did, it's Marco Marco. You can't do that. We'll, we have fashion be- designer Marco Marco. Um Marco Marco. God, I'm already drunk. <laughs> <laughs> he and his design team uh, worked tirelessly to create phenomenal, unique, and glamorously auteur costumes for celebrities and performers, including Fergie, Katy Perry, Nicki Minaj, Kesha, Britney Spears, and Shakira. That's just, na- to, name just to name a few. He's also going to... Oh, and Stephen <laughs> Deller, <laughs> the post office uniform. That was Marco Marco. Marco Marco's going to design uh, an on-the-rock suit. 
Yeah. This just in. Oh, okay. <laughs> this just in. Um, uh, but you've seen his creations uh, worn by today's hottest pop stars and leading actresses on the red carpet, music videos, commercials, and on world tours. Literally. And Marco Marco. And we get to see his face today, Everywhere. too. Everywhere. Everywhere. We're going to take a picture like this, but all of us are going to be like that. <laughs> Covering our faces? Yes. You're going to look beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> well, improvements. <laughs> um, I just want to say, uh, right after this, you and I are heading to Palm Springs. Are you ready? Are I am you ready. Palm Springs. I, I am not sure if I'm ready for it with you, but I'm definitely ready for Palm Let's Springs. Let's just say the mayor has called me a few times and been like, you know, I think it's time to go. Yes, it's <laughs> going to be. We're, go, we're going to meet with a few uh, potential bi- business people for Palm Springs. It's Pride, all business. And we will see uh, what goes from there. There's it's not much business. more we can say. Business. Business. So uh, if you're in Palm Springs, come say hi. Well, you'll see us around. Somewhere. Um, I just say Stumbling. the last time I went to Palm Springs, I stayed at the Hard Rock Hotel. And I was uh, very inebriated. Yes. And so I ordered room service like at four in the morning. Is your mom listening right now? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, chill oh, out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, but I ordered the chocolate cake because, you know, I'm a husky man. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I passed out and forgot that I ordered the chocolate cake. So I woke up in the morning and I was like, because it was chocolate cake everywhere, but I didn't think it was chocolate cake. Oh, so you just I thought you freaking had freaking out. You just thought you had a messy date yes, over there. I was like, before. oh my oh. God. They charged me two hundred and fifty dollars for sheets. <laughs> well I for would chocolate cake. I would too. You that was can't the most expensive piece of chocolate you cake. Get that out easy. <laughs> <laughs> um also uh, we will be at Halloweeny. In fact, we just got the big news. Uh, we are uh, taking over the reins from the amazing Lance Bass. Right. Uh, this year on the rocks is going to be at Halloween. <laughs> streaming live. I'm so on the red of carpet. Streaming. Okay. Well, because most of the people that are going have been guests on the show. Right. But it's going to be live. Right. I am so screwed. With all those guests in the same room. And open bar. <laughs> um, Halloweeny is the biggest party, um, uh, biggest Halloween party in LA, um, and it's at the California Science Center, right under the shuttle. It's going to be pretty cool this year. Yeah, it's going to be the. This is the coolest space that it's been in for the past three or four years. Yes. I would say it's the biggest and it's the most spectacular. So, so. I'm very, very excited. I'm very, very excited. Uh, very, 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 very scared excited. too. Very. I wish they put like an, at least like a two minute delay. What are you wearing? Are you dressing? I, up? I don't even know. We can talk about that later on. Yeah. But we should do some sort of themed costume. You know, how thing. original? Yes. Yes. What could we? We could be like Fred and. Barney, or we could be. Since we- you don't wear a shirt most we times anyway. We could be anyway. Uh, the Adams family. I could be Wednesday, and you could be the uncle. No. <coughs> Do you have crickets there, Kurt? I think that'd be good. I think that'd be perfect. <laughs> Are you kidding right now? The aesthetic Get is out. great. <laughs> Why don't I just be Nathan Lane and Ross Matthews in one? <laughs> How dare you, sir? I'm so <laughs> mad at you. Well, if, if no one was watching right now, they would think that you were Nathan Lane and Ross Matthews in one. Because there's that much talent yes, in one person. Exactly. Jazz hands. Okay. Speaking of moms, mom, are you there? We can't. Can, can we microphone. Hi, mom. Hey, girl. Hi. Hey, girl. Hey. Hi. What are you drinking? <laughs> what? What are you drinking? Um, oh, just water. <laughs> oh. Yes, <laughs> water, <laughs> just like me. Anyway, as usual, uh, my mom, Mama Rose, is in the chat room. Uh, she's manning the chat room. She's answering your questions. And if you have a very burning question that we are not addressing, she will ask it uh, for you uh, right here on the show. So say hello to her. Keep her busy um, because she might fall asleep. <laughs> and the lighting looks great. <laughs> it, it, it looks better. Last time it looked like you were in a prison a in dark. Calcutta. A little dark. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you, Mama Rose. Okay, don't you want my tip? Oh, yeah, the, oh, the, the oh. tip for the day. Oh, God. Mama Rose, sing out, Louise. And the tip is What's don't, your tip don't for, forget the for tip. today. Okay, my tip for the day is don't be afraid to ask. Oh, that's deep, a good tip. I like deep that. Deep thoughts with Mama Rose. No, I mean, you, can, oh, you should always take the chance and ask. Mom, Whatever can I have $3,000? <laughs> can I have $3,000? No. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> you tried. Yes. <laughs> you were listening to the advice. Uh, Mama but Rose. Really you, can, you can miss out on a big chance just by being afraid to ask. So ask. Just like when and you asked anybody, my father. If any of you that are listening, <laughs> take a chance this week. Chat with me next week and tell me what you're what the Ooh, reaction good. I love Look that. Look at her work in the up. chat room. Oh, work in the chat room. Oh, God. Please. Give her a mic. Anyway, Mom, uh, say hello to everyone in the chat room, and if there's a question, we will chat with you later. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's 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 begin the show. We need to bring in our guest co-host, Renee Horsch. Hey. 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 How you doing? Hey, you are yeah. such a fun guest. I'm, I'm so happy that you came back, and you've been super, super busy. Oh, extra busy, yeah. Uh, all kinds of busy. Uh, I was in New York for 12 days for Fashion Week. We, we were involved with Bridal Fashion Week because, Mark, so you know, we have two bridal lines at Kleinfeld's. 
and they are the ones that do Say Yes to the Dress. That's on TLC. Oh, yes. Yes. So, yeah, we did. We filmed the whole big thing, so it was a lot of fun. It hasn't aired yet, but uh, I will definitely let you guys know when that hits. So yeah, please yeah, we'll do. Yeah. Yeah. I've said yeah. yes to the dress, and they've said no. So, <laughs> I, you know, the show didn't quite work for everybody. They say, are you sure? <laughs> yeah, they're like, ah. Oh. But, oh. Renee, you also brought us gifts. I brought you gifts. Look yes, at, okay. That's so, like a sardine can. Yeah, I know. Look <laughs> at this. Okay, so this is a Vouv Clicquot box. Is that beautiful? Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, st- it's, so Stephen and I went to the uh, Vouv Clicquot pl- Polo Classic Very on fancy. Saturday. Very yeah. fancy. Yeah. Well, it's not that fancy because everybody can go. So, right. yeah, yeah. Anyway, we went, but it was I fun. wasn't going to say shade, that. The we shade. Were, the we were just shade. discussing that in the green room. We, well, we were going to actually say it. You know? Eric, that's funny. Were you there? <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep it real. That's all, you know. I'm, yeah. How I'm, the I'm a simple guy, you know. Oh, so jo- simple. Yeah, yeah. The, jo- the jockeys were, they looked good. They had they're the, so little. Yeah. Because they have to be like under five feet. But they had like I dated once once. Did you? Okay. How was that? Awful. Was it? Oh, okay. It was like we couldn't go to Disneyland. They couldn't ride the rides. Oh my god, that's not good. <laughs> Terrible. You got to be able to ride a good ride, you know, right? Mm, Amen. Amen. Okay. So, <laughs> Marco, Marco. <laughs> Drink so anyway, so so, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so Stephen and I we went to this, and then they they gave us these amazing uh, Vouv Clicquot sunglasses, which I want to give you. Fabulous. Yeah. I'll need them and for pump drinks because I couldn't find yeah. my sunglasses anywhere. I don't know how great they are. I don't know if I don't know if it's like UVA protected, it but well, <laughs> it, tomorrow morning yeah. I'll be like. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> they look great. They do look good. Fabulous. You look good. Orange it's just is your color. color. Orange is the new black. Right? Hollywood yeah, Montrose. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't it just yeah. sing? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Line from Anakin. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yes, yeah, so we drank champagne all day on Saturday. It was like champagne was flowing. And uh, and then also uh, Justin Brian Crumb. Brian Justin. Yes. Right. Brian Justin Crumb. Oh, my God. I got to get that right. He sang the, the national anthem out there. It I saw really footage from that. Yeah. It was super it was, talented He's guy, phenomenal. You know? Yeah. Well, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, he's great. He's He's great. Um, but yeah. you also spent this August with, with somebody pretty special. I did. I did. I was at um, Dame. It's Dame Joan Collins. So she's, she's a dame, dame now. Yeah, so you have to call There's her. There's nothing like a dame. No, it's nothing like a dame. And you have to say Dame Joan Collins. She says she she gives me a hard time because she's like, oh, you Americans, you guys, you guys just don't get it. And I said, what do you mean? She's like, nobody says dame. You have to you have to put the title in front of my name. Oh, I so, love that. Yeah. So she's a dame. Anyway, so I was in Germany. and It's an honor. Yeah. Like when you're on a Marco Marco uh, runway. Drink. Well, it's a, <laughs> Drink, drink, okay. Drink, right. drink yeah. up, drink up, Buttercup, right? I have to drive yeah. us to Palm Springs after this, so yeah. you drink up all you'd like. I'm be singing show tunes the <laughs> whole way. Drink the champagne; oh it's lighter I booze, will. and then, will, then yeah, stay away from the vodka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cheers, exactly. yeah. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> he's just doing both. He's just doing both. Love you long time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Short time for me, anyway. Um, but yeah, so no, I was in Germany for five days. I was in Munich and Regensburg. That's where my father's from. And it was my father's birthday. So I was there for five days. And then when I was done with that part of the trip, then I, I jumped on a jet and went down to Saint Tropez and stayed at Saint Tropez. I stayed Jumping at, on a jet. Ooh, well, yeah. That's but you've it. earned it, though, because uh, you've worked with everybody. You are a hard worker. You're so talented. Well, thank you. No, it's like, she's, it's funny because it, it's funny. A lot of my friends will give me a hard time. They're like, why are you always hanging out with Joan Collins? What's that a lot about? And I said, well, what you, you know mean? what? I said, Joan, are you kidding me? I said, it's like Elizabeth. She's an icon. It's Elizabeth Taylor, Sophia Loren, and Joan Collins. I mean, from that era. And Joan and, and Sophia are really the only two that are left. And um, so anyway, I went down to uh, her place and she, uh, her home's named. Because you know, rich people they name their houses. Yes, we so do her, know. her house is yeah. named Villa Destino. Ooh, and uh, yeah, isn't that elegant. nice? Yeah, elegant. it's fancy. It that, nice? that sounds like yeah. a porn I once saw. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you have to send that to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no, it's, but she lives in this gorgeous house. It's on 26 acres. It overlooks the, the Mediterranean. Um, <laughs> Can you imagine? It's like, Renee sent me. She's yeah. like, the help goes through the back, sweetie. Yeah. This is living. <laughs> you ring the doorbell. You're like, it's Avon. Yeah. Avon's calling. They wouldn't even let me yeah. at the doorbell. I'd be at the gate. I'd be like, yeah. Hello. Hola. <laughs> so yeah, so it was great. It was actually, you know, it's fun because uh, we 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 spend uh, our days lounging by our pool or going to beach clubs and dancing on tabletops. And they because ru- she gets mobbed every time that she goes out. Well, it's it's funny because it, they actually respect her very. In Europe, you know, they it's funny. We walk into a restaurant and, and we get the best table, we get the best everything, and she looks at me. She's like, "See, I'm still a big deal over here." They, she's like, "Do you see why America?" She's like, "I, I walk around America. I mean, America, we do give her a great time here too, yeah. and she can certainly walk in." Everywhere and she get the best uh, table. Yes, but she 
likes to be tongue in cheek, and, and she's a lot of fun about it. That and um, and they're doing a Dynasty reboot, by the way. Is that yeah. true? Is yep. that, oh, okay, it's confirmed. That was, yeah, Esther Shapiro, I think, made a deal with uh, the, the CW. Devil. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, devil. <laughs> the, devil. the devil. Yeah, yeah. I just have to yeah. know. Uh-huh. Like, do you get into bed with Joan and watch Netflix? What or what's <laughs> it like? Like the morning <laughs> afterwards when you like wake up and go downstairs? Because when I when I stay yeah. at a friend's house, right, right. for the weekend, uh-huh. I, my hair is up here and I've got crust from God knows what. And, uh, <laughs> but I imagine that she's like she just emerges from her room like oh. Oh. Yeah, well she emerges and she's got usually like her turban on and then like she's got she has makeup on and she's like in a in a negligent or she's got like the robe with the feathers around the uh, it's like know, a she, backlight behind her yeah. she's so she's not like, like one for like you know, jammies like, yeah. no 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 yeah I can't crawl into I mean I'm probably as close as I could as Very any close, of her yeah. yeah and she yeah I don't I don't crawl into bed she's married you know I gotta be respectful <laughs> oh yeah there's danger there yeah, ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we actually have a clip of so. you and Joan that I would love um, to play okay because um, we get to see a little bit like how you play with each other but then we get to see you at work oh, um, yeah. and you know Joan Collins shopping for clothes well, she doesn't oh, shop for okay. clothes she has clothes shop for her yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. oh my god wear okay. me wear me yeah <laughs> <laughs> here, here we go turn it up just a tad Kurt look at this this is behind the scenes you guys ooh okay, okay. <laughs> ooh Ooh. Rene. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Wow. Oh. Ooh, ah. Give me a break right now. My favorite place in LA. And that, that <laughs> voice. That yes, absolutely. Look at all this. It's like being a kid in a candy store. When was she in a candy store ever, please? Oh. <laughs> she loves chocolate. Oh, my she God. Does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Besties. <laughs> Who doesn't love chocolate, right? Okay. She just reeks elegance. But I think so the sketches are made f- for her. Absolutely, yeah. Mark Zinos is a really talented sketch artist. He sits down, he just uh, he knocks it out in five minutes. It's pretty incredible. So we were like looking for something. Listen, listen to this. Lady Gaga shoulder pads. I invented them. That is a quote for the ages. Look at that. I invented that. This is almost like the Devil Wears Prada. Like, it's watching that scene. <laughs> Are you aware? Wouldn't mind having a few feathers around there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put that on my grinder profile. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think she got all kinds of good finds here today. She's going to be the best dressed woman this summer. I Look at that. Be great in South of France. South, France. South of France. 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 Oh, love there we go. There we are poolside. Love yeah, that. love it. Oh, yeah. That's Good also times. your gr- grinder profile pic. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. you <laughs> saw that, right? Nothing They're sells. Right? Yeah, nothing sells power top like Joan right. Collins. <laughs> <laughs> I get a lot of dates. Let me tell you. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure you do. Um, let's bring yeah. on uh, your friend, uh, a lot of people's friends, whether he knows it or not. <laughs> Model, musician, uh, <laughs> spokesperson, uh, Mr. Stephen Dowler. Yes. Hello. 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 Oh, and your hair. I didn't mean to ignore your oh, hair. Oh, that's okay. He's got the, the hair best hair in great. town, right? Yeah, your hair looks oh my god. Great. I have like For hair sure. envy. Oh my god. Thank you. If you have, you if both you have, have hair, hair envy. Yeah. Like, I've got smoke and mirror. I've got moose and squirrel in my hair, but you know. No, well, William I mean, Shatner is both uh, very jealous of both your hair. Yeah, both of you. <laughs> yes. It's well, it's not it's not that easy doing yeah, hair. See, it took yeah. me a while to figure it out. I had a I had a buzzed head for most and of like my life. And like a team of ten people. Come on, I've seen your Instagram. <laughs> no, it's true. It's like, I definitely have I have a stylist that definitely takes care of it and makes sure that I he always like shows me exactly he's like, okay, this is what you have to hold it when you're blow drying. It's like it's like telling a toddler how to use yeah, a toothbrush. Right? I just, like who has time wow. for all that? Like you guys do. Obviously I don't. Well, I gotta work at El well, Pio Loco, so you know well, I'm running late. Do for a living. Well, I yeah, mean, it's, it's when you, I mean you Okay, when you have to do your own hair, like how how many how many minutes? Like be honest. Uh, Be honest. 15, 20 minutes, maybe? Is that too much to spend on your hair? Maybe 15? No, not at yeah. all. How long do I you have take? The, I have the Desi Arnaz helmet. I just go... It's like it's just like, like use a bottle it's, of hair it's like spray a Lego. Every time. <laughs> it's like a Lego yeah, hair. Mine's it's like a, a mine's like a snap on. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I take it off. I at wish it was a snap on. Yeah. yeah, if you if you touch Alexander's head right now, your hand will hurt. I mean, it's it's hard. It's it's hard. It's so romantic. <laughs> we get to that point. Yeah. Too. They're like, oh, ow, my, ow. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I went too far. I didn't mean to. You can put an eye out. Sorry, right? Rose. Yeah. At least it's natural. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, snap. <laughs> so, Stephen, I have seen you everywhere. Your fan base um, goes in, in the high fashion world. Your your photo shoots are are, are breathtaking. You. Um, your fans on Instagram, your fans on YouTube, your fans uh, with designers like Marco Marco drink. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ch- cheers to that. All right. 
He's like a superstar. I mean, he's like super. I, I mean, and I, you, you, sweet. you've styled him before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. actually, I don't Many mean times interrupt. But we have he, some pictures. No, yeah. you're, you're not you're interrupting. The guest you're, yeah. Yeah. I you're can talk to really. Yeah. I'm a Go good it, promoter. Right. Let me tell you, this guy here, I have to say, not only is he good looking, but he's the nicest guy. So professional. All kinds of fun to work with. We did a great um, photo shoot for Satellite Magazine, which yes. is out now, right? Yes, we got the cover of that. Yeah. So, oh, in yeah. fact, I think we actually um, have that cover um, that we will show. Um, it's like the black and white one. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful. And of course, stylized by Renee. Oh, well, yes. Renee. Well, it was, well I, met, I met you, Renee, Renee what, it was like a year and a half ago. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you and Michael wanted to shoot together, and we're just trying to figure out, you know, a good, t- like, when, when our schedules finally lined it up. Took, it took a while, took but, a we while. Got it, we but we got it together. But we got it together, yeah. and we made some magic right there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I have to give a big plug to Michael Piombo, because he's an amazing photographer, and he's the one yeah. who actually, I mean, he's mm-hmm. really the one. As stylists do, we've got great jobs too, but the photographer, it's all about lighting and really it like brings it all, bring together. It all together. And, you know, it's, mm-hmm. and it's, and if you've got a great team of, of the talents good and the photographer and the stylist, of course, is great. Yeah. Uh, but no, you pull it all <laughs> together. Course. No, 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 it yeah, no but, but, it, but it really makes it, it, it makes the job actually really easy and a lot of fun. Sometimes you get, one component may not be so great, and it's not so great. You know, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, Stephen, we, we actually got some questions uh, for you uh, before on the show. Um, and somebody wanted to know what it's like to be looked at every single time you are out in public, whether that you're at the Abbey grabbing a burger, whether you're like on a photo shoot, or it's like you're always on on display. Um, I mean... I, I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of oblivious to it for the most oh, part. Oh please! Oh no, I try. I, actually, it's funny because like, I will be. I will take my mom. My mom comes out to West Hollywood every once in a while. She should hang out with my mom. <laughs> well, there you go. She would love to. She loves coming out to West Hollywood, and we'll walk down. We'll go get yogurt or something, and we'll just be walking past people, and she'll just be like, "Do you do you, do you notice that?" And I'm like, "I don't don't notice what." And she's like, "It's just really aggressive." And <laughs> people just well, that's probably why you've done so well too. To be honest, with you. <laughs> well, thank staying you. oblivious to everything is yeah. actually well. It gives me kind of, it gives me kind of anxiety sometimes. I'll be if I'm walking down, especially the boulevard, because there's just so many people like during that strip and I'm always yeah. just like headphones on, you know, just get get to where I'm stay going. Stay focused, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 That, that can also come across as like, oh, he's so aloof, he doesn't want to talk to anybody, he's kind of a bitch, you know. It's it's well, not, mostly it's just, just listening to Britney Spears line. the whole time, actually. <laughs> oh, there's a surprise. <laughs> I just, <wanna> <laughs> yeah, yeah. just want to listen to my, yeah. my Britney and then get to the gym, you know. <laughs> it's, like, it's like don't don't mess with my Britney. Yeah. I'm having a moment right now. Yeah. It's, it's my meditation. I have to say, you know, it's, a humble is a good quality. And I think that yeah. that and, and also, too, I think working with a lot of celebrities, a lot of celebrities can be shy, and then people take that as being right. stuck up and snobby. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, you know, they, it, you know, I, I was, uh, Ann Margaret, I was, at, she was in our uh, showroom yesterday. She is so shy. What? Ann Margaret, yeah. Do you know I'm a huge Ann Margaret fan? No way. We had really? Tony Basil on last week who choreographed her and Elvis in Viva Las Vegas. Like, Are you insane. kidding me? She Ann Margaret awesome. is one of my number one icons. She is. When she did Tommy. Oh, oh my God! Tommy was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Remember that like that silver like lame dress that she wore, and she was like surrounded by beans and, and champagne. Oh, uh-huh. and Talk about, it's, it's like a family reunion <laughs> for me. Yeah, beans and champagne and chocolate. Yeah. Then chocolate came oh, flying. The chocolate came flying out of the uh, this that took television. Three right? days to film. And she didn't yeah. complain once. She they, she had to go back to the studio when it smelled from a day, and then oh, third day, imagine? and yeah. she was in the muck, and she did not complain once. Yeah. And she actually I have to say she is she's lovely she's she's amazing she just finished a, a movie with Morgan Freeman Michael Caine um, and one other actor but she basically plays it's kind of a takeoff of kind of like grumpy old men but the cool thing is she plays a checkout girl at a grocery store checkout lady and she's all sexy at the, you know like she's picking up the guys as they come through her line whatever and um, <laughs> <can> you imagine <laughs> did you see Eric's yeah. eyebrows right he's, he's like, like oh yeah, I yeah. I know that he's story like, he's like yeah yeah <laughs> he's at Bonds I just that call that time, Wednesday right? you know I mean yeah yeah. <laughs> Right. <laughs> yes. You know what though? Like, I, I love the idea of that movie, but it's yeah. also a sad comment of our economy that older people have to work way after retirement just right. just to pay their simple bills. Vote Hillary. I'm with her. Anyway, well, we're t- not political. Tony was saying that too yeah. last week. Yeah. I've never been political, but I I, ju- I just cannot stop. Um, Stephen, so how did you get involved in 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 the modeling world? Like, was it something that you wanted to <clears throat> in youth? And at what point did you realize, like, oh, this is my living? Um, you know, if you ask, you know. 14, 15 year old me, if I was going to do this when I got older, I would have been like, you're 
you're crazy. Like, I, it, there's just no way. I was very, very, very shy. I had low self-esteem. I was very, I was very thin when I was in high school. I did sports all, you know, growing up. And so I had... I love when thin people say that. Thin is always in, just so you know. Well, you know... Well, right, Marco Moker? Well, He's talking about me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hint, hint. Marco, Marco. <laughs> Marco, Marco. <laughs> oh, drink up. Um, no, I just, uh, you know, I had, I had very bad acne. I had just, I had, you know, very low self-esteem. And I, I met this girl when I was um, 18 or 19 years old and at a party. Michelle Visage. <laughs> <laughs> no, not Michelle. Um, her name is Casey, and she uh, she was had been modeling since she was fourteen. Beautiful, gorgeous, stunning girl. And she came up to me at a party once, and she just was like, "Do you model?" And I said, oh, "Are you insane?" And she's like, "Well, you should, and I'm going to make you." And my first photo shoot was with her in Palm Springs with this photographer. His name is Adam Busca. Um, he does the No Hate campaign. Cool. And so I did my first photo shoot with him. And from that, it just sort of picked up. And then I just, and at that point, I'd, I'd been working out a little bit more. So I got a little bit bigger, but not, you know, to the status I got, you know, 10 years later. And and then I just sort of, after a few photo shoots, I started getting a lot of great reception. And I was like, you know, I really enjoy this. And I think maybe I'm maybe I'm good at this. Um, you know? What did you <laughs> want to do when you were 14 or 15? Like, what, um, what, what were you thinking that you were going to do? I had to? a lot of different things I wanted to do. I wanted to be, I, I, I wanted to be an architect or a computer programmer. I loved I, lo- I still love it. Can you imagine a See, computer smart programmer? Too, smart. Can you imagine going to like cute cubicles and there's like rrr, woof after woof and yeah. <laughs> Steven's like, <laughs> here's the new code, yes. sir. Yes. Woof. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, super, supermodel comes in and says, yes. I got your work done for uh, you. Here, what else can I do, right? <laughs> your secretary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a Christmas party I want to go yeah, to. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, Marco, Marco, <laughs> you, you can still talk, by the way. Yeah. Are you just saying that because you want me to drink? Yeah. Drink up. Drink up. There you go. I'm just saying that you feel free to chime in as well. Fine. Yeah, because yeah. you're you're on camera. He's well, screaming at you right now, right? <laughs> Look at that smoky voice, by the way. Fine. That's not what I expected. No, it's very it's much <laughs> deeper than my voice. Is that my voice? That's, uh, <laughs> yeah. For all you kids out there, that's 14 years of cigarettes. <laughs> it's like Vin that's Diesel. Why I'm not even kidding you. I'm a little smoking. bit turned on yeah, though. Yeah. Like Stop I'm wasting sweating. time. <laughs> I'm sweating. Yeah. All right, let's get back to Stephen's all story, right. you guys. <laughs> oh yeah. Fine. Um. But yeah. So then, um, from that, I just did more and more photo shoots, and I just sort of. You know, tried to get more and more exposure and just kept working at it. And yeah, that's how, that's and here how it are. came about. And here I, I have am. to say, I, I know what he's talking about because I was literally like, I looked like I was 12 years old until I was about 28, which I'm 30 years old now. No, but it's like Marco no, Marco. Was, yeah. This is a retro <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm 310 years old. I'm older than Joan Rivers. But um, I styled yeah, Jesus on the yeah, cross. Thank he you. Good. Yeah, he looks really good. That gown was awesome. Oh my god, and, you guys, um, we're gonna burn it out. But well, no, we but, were anyway. Yeah, so. Anyway, yeah. But I'm the thing is, right now. Yeah. But, <laughs> but you guys, have, but you guys, uh, wait, wait. I'm so sorry. Exactly. I didn't want to say it. Marco Marco, we have a respectable show here. Yeah. Show. And um, speaking of respectable, I have to go feed the meter for our rent a car. <laughs> Me and Alexander had a rent a car for Palm Springs, so I'm gonna go feed the meter. I'll be it's right Alexis, back. just so should I bring knows. Casey oh, yeah. Lanzell back in after? No, because we start to finish. All right, this great. Idea. I'll be right yeah. back. All right, bye. Yeah. bye. And, I, and I have to finish up on what I was gonna say yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah. Like, no, be, being like skinny and scrawny. When when you are skinny and scrawny like that, it is what well, skinny. No. Uh, it, it's fabulous. It's fabulous. <laughs> you can eat, you can eat whatever you want. No, but the thing is, like, yeah, you, you, you know, nobody will look at you. You're this First little tiny, time. skinny waif, and like, you know, it's hard to. It uh, muscle is hard to put on. It is not an easy thing it, to put on, it's, right? It's, oh my god! And it god, took it so took hard. me years to like build. And honestly, it does not. It's not just. It's like, oh, you lift weights and poof overnight. Especially you're when like, you do it naturally. You know, like when you when you yeah. actually just do it based on exercise and eating. And then eating healthy and getting weight at the same time, it's 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 difficult. But there's also a self esteem that you've incorporated that's that's more than just the physical because we all know at the end of the day the physical goes. It away. all goes. Yeah, we're all yeah, going to yeah, look yeah, the yeah. same when we're I mean, 86. Well, thank you. Yeah. God willing. Yeah. I started working out before. I mean, I, I played sports from the age of four to 18, and then once I was done, I started weight training with my brother. And I weight trained not because I wanted to, you know, have this you know great body or because of how I looked. I What's just, your brother's phone number? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he's taken. He's engaged. Uh, but he. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like, I don't want to get married. <laughs> I don't want to buy gifts. Uh, right. Um, but no. And then I, I started working out just sort of just to stay physically active and stay healthy. And then the modeling came after that. And it sort of was just an added bonus that like, you know, it actually promotes me to stay in shape. You know, it's a win win situation. So, Stephen, I, I also have a question. What is the biggest mistake on photo shoots that models make? And uh, likewise, what is the biggest mistake that designers make on photo shoots? Oh gosh, that's a good question. Um, I mean, I don't, 
I've done a few shoots with models. Uh, I guess the biggest mistake, I mean, I guess not knowing their angles or knowing their light, like finding their lighting. And you know, that's, I think that, lot, that or even just being more comfortable with your angles because a lot of the times if you just move around a shoot and just, you know, change your poses and whatnot, you know, you can feel dorky or feel weird or it can like feel awkward, but it can translate really, really amazing in a photo. And I think a lot of models become a little bit self-conscious that they, oh, like they have to have these certain poses down. It's really just about, you know, fluid movement and just sort of keeping it going. And then, I don't know, designers wise, it, probably not having the right size size, of size of clothing yeah. for the subject that you're shooting yeah because you know, that can translate it, real real fast you know that instantly when you look at a photo if that yeah. like, that doesn't fit that person and that should not and as a model you know models have this whole set of feelings that like people on the outside don't even have a clue like oh i feel bloated and people look at you like oh give me a break but you do um what do you say to models when they're just not feeling it and they have a day of photos ahead of them um i mean I've had those moments, and it's really funny too, because when I when I am feeling the least attractive or like the most you know bloated or whatever is when usually when I end Produce up getting the best. Well, yeah, I get the most compliments, and I'm like, what the heck is this about? But I mean, me too. I know yeah. that feeling when I've been to the gym for four or five been, days, yeah. and all of a sudden I've been bloated like, for hey, ten years, and I'm, I'm <laughs> great. Somebody, someone will come up here and say, oh my god, you look fantastic. I'm like, what are you talking about? I've been in New York for twelve days, I didn't work out. I'm like, exactly. I've been like, eating all this amazing food, my stomach's blown out, and people are like, oh, you look fantastic. I I'm hate like, you. What? Turn off the mic, everyone. Get out. <laughs> just, well, I mean, it's, it's a job, and like every job, you should be prepared for it. And so, like, you know, if you're. I if you love are, that you just said that. Yeah, you know, and so. It's, it's not it, just fun and games. No, it's not. It, That's it, why you drink so much. If you're not, you know. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> My job is fun and games. <laughs> I mean, they I'm just, winning. Your yeah. kicks and giggles, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> That's my drag name. Kicks, kicks and giggles. Kicks okay. and giggles. I can't kick that high, though. Yeah, yeah. It's low kicks and giggles. You're like, you're like leg up. Yeah, yeah, back up, everybody. Low kicks, back high up. giggles. Yeah. There we yeah, go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Good time. I write that down, actually. <laughs> Chapter got, 10 got, of my biography. Yeah, yeah. There's your Halloween costume. Yeah. See? There you go. Oh. Copyright that. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you credit me. That's all. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, you also are a musician, Correct, which yes. a lot of people do not know. Yeah, no, not many people know I'm a classically trained pianist. Uh, well, I guess it's pronounced pianist, but I always say pianist. My brother used to make fun of me when I was younger because he'd be like, ha ha, you're a penis. He's a beautiful <laughs> pianist. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on him. Yeah, yeah. Is, look, is, he, is he listening? <laughs> like, look at him. We should call him right now and be uh, like, hey, remember that? Him. Should we call him? Yeah. No, he's probably working. He's an LA City firefighter, so he's busy. Oh, we should really call him. <laughs> we should call him. There's a fire happening right now. I just uh, won't tell you where. I have a lighter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we don't need a lighter oh, with these flames. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this studio's on fire, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them to get over here to put this fire out. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> Um, are you still able to practice like you should? Oh yeah, I, I mean, I have a, I have a, I have a uh, grand piano at my parents' house, and I have an electric keyboard. My parents live in Simi Valley, which is not very far outside of Los mm -hmm. Angeles, if, if you don't know. So um, with traffic, it might as well be in like New York. Might, yeah, exactly, yeah. it could take up two hours sometimes. Um, and I have an electric uh, keyboard in my apartment, so I play. What's almost the address? <laughs> <laughs> I write down address and phone numbers all night long. <laughs> you, don't, you don't skip a beat. <laughs> um, no, I, I play almost pretty much every every day, every day, and I have I do have videos on YouTube, and I do post videos on my on my Instagram um, and I do have like some things in the works with playing, make, making videos with some friends that do you, you ever know, think about doing a one man show maybe at Rockwell or well, I mean, you know, I one of those I mean I don't sing so I do. Oh, you just play. I just I play. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I'm a cla I was classically you, trained for 10 years. I mean, I, I played for about 21 total, but I, I was trained specifically. We'll talk. We'll cabaret. Yeah. No, yeah, I, I did a cabaret show once with uh, Courtney Act. I don't know, uh, you know, yeah. the drag queen Courtney Act. Yes. Yeah. Um, it was a couple of years ago, and she, she has uh, this whole show that she did, and she wanted me to play the piano for it, and it was great, and it was a lot of fun. Um, but, but playing classical is very different than playing like musical theater or pop. Because my mom used to play all my early cabarets, mm -hmm. but she was classically trained. Yeah, wow, well, my, my, it's, it's a whole different world. That's it, a whole different world. It is completely different. But just uh, I was classically trained in the, in the sense where she wanted me to make sure that I had uh, like the foundations of music and make sure that I knew you know all that basis. But I, I I mean during my entire time of playing with her, I would always bring in music that I would just love to play and enjoy. Like I would bring in Christina Aguilera's Beautiful and she would teach me that or she would, you know, so she, she specifically taught me sight reading so I can just pick up a piece yep. of music and play it. And so that's my favorite thing. Actually, my favorite thing to that's play amazing. is probably Disney music. I love playing Disney music, as, as most people know. <laughs> the whole new world. Some yeah. people just went like this. Literally everyone. I know. Wow. 
I know. No, but it's fun. No, it's actually the thing I get requested the most. I when I have people over and they're all just hanging out, they're like, come on, play some, play some, like, play some Lion King. Play some, play some because they want to sing. They want to for themselves. And it's usually after two bottles of things. Oh, no, definitely. And usually they do Are you listening? Ronnie Kroll? He always requests Disney so he can sing. Ronnie. Because I can't, so they they sing for me. <laughs> All right, Stephen yeah. and Renee, yes. you are victim of yep. our On the Rocks Woo! Rapid Fire. All right, Woo! let's do this. Rapid Fire. Really, really I, I thought really I was like a host today. You're, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like a. This is how we you're start. You're a little bit of both. Okay. Do you want to see how, how it works? I'm oh, okay, okay, okay. Do you want? You want to do nervous? Do you want to do me? You want me to do you? Drink up, drink up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You or me? I'm doing you. Is that one of them? No. I'm is not, that the okay. question? Jack, okay. <laughs> okay. In, in honor of uh, American Horror Story, this week is supposed to be a huge change up in yes. this season. I'm not We're sure if everyone's Springs. watching. Right. Shag, Mary, <laughs> Kill, Cuba Gooding Jr., Matt Boomer, or Evan Peters? Oh, uh, uh, Shag, Evan Peters, hands down. Obviously. Booty. Mm. Mm. Duh. Mm -hmm. I'm a blouse of feminine top, just in case anybody knows. Bat Momer. Bat Momer. Uh, Mary, mm -hmm. and then kill Kuba. I, I can't stand Kuba. I'm the only one in the world that can't stand him. I don't. Uh, he could do Shakespeare. Okay, rapid fire, sweetie. Oh, rapid fire. <laughs> bacon or turkey bacon? That's rapid a fire. Stupid question. Duh. <laughs> Hello. We Hello. didn't say they weren't. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a secret song by any artist that you're secretly dancing around in your uh, bedroom yes. right now in your underwear? Mbop. Mbop. Still. Would you show us that dance? No. Oh <laughs> uh, man. Uh, and then, oh, you didn't answer this one last time. If you were a real housewife, what would your opening tagline be? You've had a week. Go. Drunk, love it, not in jail. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Kurt. Okay, we, Eric. We had this talk about the studio audience applause after each rapid fire last week. <laughs> Eric, hot dog or hamburger? Hamburger. Favorite show tune? <laughs> the movie in my mind, Miss Saigon. Jesus so Christ. Gay. Worst audition. So gay. Uh, for Alter Boys off Broadway, not good. What happened? Um, I, I I just completely did not do well at all. I, okay. I, I killed it. Real Housewives of New York City. Uh, least favorite thing in your closet? Probably this thing I'm wearing right now. Thank God, because really, I hate it. It's, it's, <laughs> really, it's really heavy. It's giving me like it just, mono. It, I literally only wear it because I don't want to wear a blazer on the show, and it's just for this. Right up here. So you're giving me a very deep V right there. Yeah, yeah. he's giving a <laughs> few people though. Even more than a deep V. That's a whole lot of deep V. Your name is on. W, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. W. Give me, a, give me some belly button action. Yeah, <laughs> Renee, do, do celebrities feel pressure to go to your studio dressed to the nines? I do, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's dressed you, you before yeah, you've yeah. gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought, hey, wear this, wear that. Yeah, yeah. come in and look great. Um, you know, we it's it, we get a we get a mixture. We get a mixture of of some women that are they're coming from somewhere else, and we've got you know they, they've come from an event or a luncheon or they've been on set or something. So it's 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 a mixed bag actually. I, um, Sofia Vergara actually comes in very casual every single time. She's amazing. But her casual is like nine inch heels. No, 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 no. no, no, no. No, 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 no. She could wear she, jeans and a t-shirt, but it's... She comes, it's, she comes in, look, she comes in dressed like a 21-year-old girl. Like, she's got a t-shirt on. She's got jeans rolled up. She's got, like, her little Nike high tops on. Really cute. Really, okay. really... Yeah, really, like, very little make. She's gorgeous. Yeah. She's really amazing. Which actually is really... It's, it's charming because she, she, she looks very youthful you know I mean she's not an old lady but but she's somebody you yeah. don't think of and even try to place her with an age just like with Joan Collins right. you know some people are like oh she's older but that's not mm. what you are, are even thinking about yeah Joan the uh, dame Joan Collins I have to say dame, um, dame. <laughs> we gotta just keep, it, keep, it, keep it she is, is the she really, DJC DJ that's what I call her I say hey DJC, DJC. yeah I call her that all the time I say DJC oh, around the house god I hate you <laughs> no I don't <laughs> like, <laughs> <get> to hang <laughs> I'm like, oh, what up DJC she, no she likes it because she I'm like because she thinks it thinks it sounds really cool I said hey DJC what's up girl yeah yeah, <laughs> I swear Dame to God. Dame Joan Collins, this is what he's saying. Yeah. It's like, yeah. it's like hey. playing like beer pong with the Queen of England. Yeah. Like, you should get That's what we do. For that. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. It. No, but for what, which car? Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. No, but exactly. but honestly, she. But I have to say, she out of everybody, out of anybody, she truly lives like a movie star of a movie star of an of an era. Like she does not leave the house without the makeup on. The Max. hair is not. No, but doesn't look. Stupid, like she's no. very, you know, she's very current. She's always, and she's earned it. She's yeah, but she she knows how to because she's like she's like this is what the studio taught us. You know, this is what when when you're under contract at 20th Century Fox and you had a seven year contract, 
they they groomed you. They taught you how to get in and out of a limousine. They none of this Britney Spears or sorry, but I, they flashed the crotches or no, what that was uh, I, Lindsay Lohan, right? Well, no, yeah, 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 Britney yeah. did it too. Yeah. But that was, that's yeah, it was, that's it, another time. Yeah, that's another time. <laughs> no, but but they but that's how they, they 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 know how to walk and talk, and it's 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 actually it's 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 pretty amazing. So anyway. all, all right, it's time to so. play play rapid fire. Oh, I, I think right. we are you, are you ready? Game, I'm right? ready. Right, okay. I have you, and Eric has Rene. Uh oh. Would you like to go first, or would you like um, me to go Marco, first? Marco, Marco. Let's do that. Marco, Marco. <laughs> Marco, Marco. Marco, Marco. That's three. That's three, I guys. I think he'll no nail skipping. this. Yeah, Marco, yeah, yeah. do you know that you've been on camera this whole time, and you're just like... And I'm on my phone the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Approving I'm Snapchat like, filters. <laughs> so into it. Are you on Grinder? What else is new? <laughs> I can okay. see you're really it's nervous about your fashion show on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Renee. Oh. Boxers Renee. or briefs? Oh. Oh, briefs. Briefs, yeah. Okay, same question that I asked Alexander. Do you have a secret song by any artist right now that you're dancing around in your bedroom in your underwear? Uh, I love Cheap Thrills. Would you show us that dance? Oh, I, I can't do that. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't ready for that. I got to work on that. He didn't bring know? his yeah, props. Yeah, yeah, rapid yeah, yeah. fire, rapid <laughs> fire. <laughs> I, didn't bring, I didn't bring my pom-poms. Come What's going to come right? popping out? Yeah. Okay, have yeah. you ever gotten a happy ending at a massage parlor without asking? Eric. I've never done that. Nope. Alrighty. I'm pretty boring that do way. Do you indulge in <laughs> e do you indulge in any reality television? And if so, is there a particular show you don't want us to know that you're watching right now? Hmm. Well, I mean, I watch Real Housewives of Beverly Hills because my clients are on there. So uh, you're and, uh, friends. Yeah, we I mean, have a picture yeah, yeah, of you yeah, and Lisa. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Going to the ice cream parlor. You, you also did the OC, <laughs> right? Went to CVS. Come on. <laughs> Didn't you do one of the wedding? Tamara's oh, Tam wedding in Tamara. Yeah, gorgeous. Tam that Thank was, you. That was, that was yeah. That was that awesome. Was no, she's and actually she's all kinds of fun. I like her. Yeah, I gotta go down. We should go down to her studio because they've got that. Who? Her, um, oh, Tamara? Tamara Judge. Cut fitness. Yeah. Cut you, fitness. You didn't even look at me when you said that. By the way, you were seeing the same thing. He was like, "Yeah, I'll take you." Take you down with us. What are you talking about? You're part of the team. Oh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> he it's just okay. dumped you. I think you totally, just got you're dumped. totally invited. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll hang out with Vicky. Uh, honey, I, I, I love you. Don't worry. You're coming with us. Okay, no, Renee. Yeah, yeah. And also, what yep. would your drag queen, uh, your drag name, be right Ooh, now? Oh, this is a good one. Oh wow, that's a. Got, Rene, like, I mean, we've Porsche. got 90 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I said kicks and giggles, but he already took that one, so I guess that wouldn't work. Um, I don't know. Uh, Alexis Ginger? Oh. Yes, oh. Alexis be Ginger! Because Alexis is a joke. I saw a movie like that Ginger's, once, too. Ginger's Tina <laughs> Louise. Your natural hair color. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Stephen Ginger's Teller. Tina Louise. Ginger was Tina Louise on Gilligan's oh Island. So she's my client, yes. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. So. All right, Stephen Deller, you are up. And then after this, we are going to uh, watch a clip of Stephen Deller uh, oh, modeling yeah. some Marco Marco. And then, we, yeah. and then we come back from our break. It is Casey Lansdale. We'll be Miss singing for Casey us. And she brought cookies. Oh, yeah, she cookies. did. I've just, been eyeing those cookies this whole time. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not oh, joking. I'm oh, hungry. just real fast. <laughs> so we do a segment. We're going to do it tonight <laughs> called Blackout, where we take pictures of people that have passed out at the end of the night in L.A. And we show it on our show because they don't know. <laughs> you could take one of me in about 10 minutes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the show on Friday, for sure. We're going to do a oh, Stephen yeah. Deller. Um, I just have to pull up these pictures. <laughs> I need to know what, what in the holy hell uh, is going on. So there's a lobster on your back there is I did a was it alive I, is that rock lobster under the, the sea no alive no, no that was a photo shoot I did uh, like two years ago with a photographer in San Diego his name is Wander Aguiar and it was for uh, he works for SeaWorld <laughs> it was it was for uh, a red, red lobster I was gonna say or yeah. red lobster yeah. <laughs> he's, he was gonna do the new low carb oh menu God. at red lobster and, 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 and he's, he's modeling popcorn shrimp afterwards oh. right <laughs> <laughs> they keep That's bringing easy. it. Really. The, the, the theme of the yeah. shoot was, oh, what's that called when you ha when you eat steak and lobster? Surf, surf and, and turf. turf. Surf. It was called surf and turf, and so that was like the. Uh, but, okay. So, oh. so Stephen, there's a lobster on your back. Yeah. So in the magazine, because uh, it was for the oh, magazine cover, but yeah. So that was the whole the whole theme of it. And but that wasn't even the worst part. The worst part was oh. having a squid on my face. Oh really? Oh, I saw that one. That was the worst. Ah! And it was the worst. Was it stinky? Smell. Okay, but how do you how do you try to look keep, sexy? Yeah. How do you like keep this? straight and calm and all that? You, 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 you don't breathe. You don't breathe. You actually you kind of look like you're not breathing. You're not. You look like you're not having a good time there. It was not. It was. It was like okay Can it was really really head, it was sweetie. probably the, it was really squid. one of the probably the most disgusting shoot I've ever done but I, I did enjoy the images that I have from it and, it and is actually yeah, a it's a cool yeah, image though no yeah, it is I mean yeah, it's yeah, unique yeah, yeah, it's yeah. unique okay and, well know. I disagree I think it looks ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> but, but, is, but, but isn't most of fashion kind of ridiculous oh, See, yeah. and we're going to talk about this with Marco Marco yes. um, because there is right, such a know, fine line yeah. of art and pageantry and even though Marco comes from a costume background we're going to talk about all of that I have one more okay we've got it all baby I know this is high fashion 
Um, it is. I gotta go. It, actually, that was it's fr- that was from a hair campaign I did for FHI Brands for uh, the Hunger Games, and I love uh, it. <laughs> Why? Which is, I, I actually, I actually did say I did it's say hashtag Hunger City. Games when yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm just teasing with you, but th- this is no, this true. is like the fun side of you that that you can look at this. No, I love it. I, it's 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 you know I can't you can't take yourself too seriously when it comes to that kind of stuff. Oh, I, I, do. I mean, look. Oh fuck. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I definitely can tell that for sure. <laughs> um, Stephen, where can our listeners find you? Follow you if if they're not already fawning all over you. Oh well, you're sweet. Um, you can find me on Instagram at the only Stephen, and um, there's no no one it's else. True, it's, it's true. true. Uh, one other. Oh, I've never met another. No one That's, else. No. Steven. Well, the only one that matters, Marco. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> you have to say it twice. Marco, Marco. Marco, Marco. Drink Marco, up. Marco. Yes. Drink up. Yeah. It's like li- Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. It's good. <laughs> right? <laughs> God, you guys. <laughs> but you didn't, you didn't ask me any questions for the podcast. Isn't there a pizza, pizza right here? <laughs> I know. You didn't, no, do, your, I wouldn't know. You didn't do your rapid fire. You didn't, you didn't do your rapid fire. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <clears throat> We're entering, you know, the, the second 45 minute okay, block okay, of the yeah, show. Okay, guys, okay. So, yeah. let's do this real quick. So you have to binge eat one food. Hour five. And you have to pick that one food, and it's the only thing that you can binge eat, and you have to binge eat on it for half an hour. What is that food? Sushi. I was, I was wor- hoping you'd pick sushi. Marco. <laughs> <laughs> Worst date. Worst date? Yep. Oh. It's um, September 30th, because it's not too cold, and it's not... No, <laughs> 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 that was That's a good answer. I like that. <laughs> You're smart, see? Don't let that blonde hair fool you. Guys, do, do, you remember, do you remember when they asked Ariana Grande what her favorite dish was? And she says, uh, well, I like a mug because it keeps warm. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a joke. It's for real. Okay. Yep. No, that's my answer. Where was your worst date? Where was my worst date? Yeah, now, I, now I've modified it since you did. Where was my worst date? Um, I don't know. I really can't tell you. I, 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 my worst date would have to be like... Right now, right now, probably yeah. No, no, I, I really can't tell you what my worst date is. Okay, I've been on He's a, a lot. Of, I've been on a lot of bad dates <laughs> today. <laughs> Shag, Mary, kill. Okay. Tom Ford, Andrew Christian, or Marco Marco. Mm. Uh, we already know the question. Uh, 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 um, I play the fifth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mar- Marco Marco, I would totally marry. Duh. Um, duh. Tom Ford, I would shag, and Andrew Christian, I would kill. Oh my god, he's so smart. See? Oh my god, he's the he best. is smart. Not I just saying Andrew Christian is smart. Okay, uh, Mountain Dew or or Dr Pepper? Dr Pepper. Duh. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna go to the underwear expert. Underwear expert is one of our media partners. Hey, um, Kevy. Put in rocks at checkout. You get 30% off your first curated box. But we're going to look at uh, Stephen Deller in action with the underwear expert talking about Marco Marco. How perfect is this? When we come back, we're going right into Casey Lansdale. Woo! Hey, guys. This is Kevin Spencer for the underwear expert. Today on About the Brand, we'll be taking a look at Marco Marco. Designer Marco Marco got his start doing costume design for some of Hollywood's hottest stars. Since 2012, he's been applying that talent to the world of men's underwear. Marco Marco has become famous for his over-the-top runway shows featuring drag superstars and male models from all around the world. Marco believes that people of all sizes, colors, and genders should have the freedom to be themselves and feel comfortable and happy in the Marco Marco brand. Marco Marco's underwear and leggings are designed with his signature combination of bright colors and geometric designs. The company has just opened up their first flagship store in Hollywood, California. In the fall, the company will be expanding its collections to both swimwear and activewear. That's it for our look at Marco Marco. You can check out their underwear at marcomarcounderwear.com. What about you? Have you tried any of Marco Marco's underwear? Have you been to one of his runway shows? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more great content like this. I'm Kevin Spencer for The Underwear Expert. What a sexy video. 
and as if the show with the case Vince, oh, oh, cool. you. No, Marco, we're interviewing no, Marco, you. Marco, no, no, Marco, sit, sit. Marco, sit. I just want a shot. That's all I need. How do I get No, no, sit down. Vince, can, 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 can you come here real okay, fast? No, Marco, we, we have to talk to you. Marco, sit in the chair. Orle, sit in the chair. Now it's starting to feel personal. I see he doesn't yeah. want to sit next to me. No. No, <laughs> Oh, I was just, nice I was just kidding. Oh. So oh, you can never complain. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Do you mind if Hello? we get involved? Oh, I'm sorry. Marco, I'm headphones. We have a thing going here. Oh my god. Wait a minute. I'm so glad your in-depth interview is coming up. <laughs> I go back. So Casey, Wait. since you've been on, um, you have been all of <laughs> Oh, really getting intense yeah. here, you Wow. Guys. <laughs> First time meeting. Oh, I will have to say, Casey also brought us uh, home-baked goods. Yeah. I know. Wow. Wow. And what did you bring so, me? Mm. Marco, Marco. Marco, Marco. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Drink. Um, Casey, you have been so busy since you were last on two weeks ago. Uh, Molly Malone's. Um, and, you know, I did some more research. I started reading some of your novels. 
I mean, a, a lady of so many talents. Thank you. Yeah, tell us about this side, this this horror novelist side oh, that you have yeah. to you. There's a dark side in here. <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> so you're like so a Stephen King, huh? You know, just better looking. I, <laughs> oh, what? No, but I mean, I like you're talented so. like that. Talented, Let, right? Let's hope. Yeah. I mean, he's it's his creativity. Early work. Well, you know, that's kind of the thing is I am, I am a country singer and I am an author, but I think you just sort of let the creativity and the art flow out of you how it wants to be told. Sometimes that's a song. Sometimes that's a story. Sometimes it's a painting. It just kind of depends on and where fashion. it wants to go. Yeah, I mean, uh, every everything dictates how it wants to come out. And I think rather than fighting it and putting yourself in a box and saying, I'm this thing, I have to be this, I have to do this, you just kind of go, all right, let's see what happens. Love it so much. Um, and I'm really excited because... Uh, I'm addicted to like Supernatural, like that mermaid fake documentary that came out. I was all about it. I watched like all four hours of it. Um, you uh, serenaded Bigfoot, which I'm yes. obsessed about, on Animal Planet. And we're going to take a, a, a quick look at what's coming up uh, for Casey Lansdale. Just so everyone else can be just as obsessed with it as we are. I'm obsessed. Yeah. Like if a Bigfoot and a mermaid made a movie, I would totally... I mean, I don't want to ruin the episode, but... You didn't find him? I, uh, I didn't say that. You okay, gotta watch okay, it. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Tuesday on a new season of Finding Bigfoot. You ready to squash? They might find Bigfoot. Find me a squash! Or not. It's a bunny. But they do film a Squatchumentary. Smile, monkey. Meet spooky new friends. I can actually speak the Bigfoot language. Tia, hia, ha, mama. Go Bigfooting with a famous country singer. Living in the moment. And bring the family. It's great that I'm going out with my dad. Oh my god! I think I just heard my first one. Finding Bigfoot. Two-hour season premiere. New night. Thursday at 9. Only on Animal Planet. I, I would love to know what's going through that uh, announcer's voice <laughs> and a country music star with a Bigfoot in the woods. So do they normally have celebrities on this show or it, how did this come into your Bigfoot's lap? Bigfoot's getting very demanding lately. It Don't call <laughs> Dame Joan Collins. DJ C is going to be out. Oh, DJ C. Like, oh. She's going to be out there with the bat beating That's the tree. Right. Like, this is my moment. <laughs> you know, it was a really strange thing and I recorded at the cash cabin outside of Nashville. So, of course, there's so much history there because of Johnny and... Of course, all the recordings that June did. So when they were filming there, we had been talking about doing a project before, and it just kind of made sense. They could come. They could check out the history. We could go and do some scouting. And I didn't really know what to do with it. I kind of <laughs> went in like, all right, I'm just going to see what happens. And I left, and I had the best time. Everybody on the cast and crew were so nice. Well, so they supportive. haven't had a pretty gr uh, <laughs> girl <laughs> yeah, on their crew. Right. Have you seen some of the episodes? I did like... take a bath, and like, I used soap. I went all <laughs> yeah. out. So it was a big day for everybody. Everyone was like, I get to use the Zoom lens. <laughs> I think even if you didn't use soap, I think you'd still be pretty hot. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Which yeah. is so weird, because Eric, you texted me this week. There yeah. was like a Bigfoot Watch creature. There was a Bigfoot sighting, uh, sighting in, I want to say, Thailand? Is that really where I it was? I made it up. But no, it I, I think it was like, uh, like <laughs> Arkansas or something. But there was, that sounds right. There was a, <laughs> the there edge was, of news was, I people. think I could see There was a Arkansas, huge, yeah. huge <laughs> figure that was just walking across some lake. And I sent it to Alexander like, how funny is this that we have Casey No, you actually texted show. me like, where, where were you last night? I was out there in a suit. I, you know, I, I was like, like, someone got pictures of you from, from, from after the bar last night. What's going on? Why are you in Arkansas? Woohoo! <laughs> All right. Well, we're so happy to have you back and your cookies and your amazing voice. Um, uh, you have the rapid fire. Oh, Casey, I have some rapid fire okay. questions for you. Uh, so you pressure, you've been in the green room, so I'm going to try and not repeat, um, but there are some that are just so okay. good. So if you were a real housewife, what would your opening tagline be? Do you even watch that show? Um, my Duh. friend is a producer on it or was a producer on it. I'm not sure how that works. So I have seen episodes with her. My tagline would be, um, oh my God. Uh, Sings, okay. bakes cookies, okay. and uh, writes novels. Loud, Southern, and proud. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. That's actually really good. Yeah. Casey, do you have a secret song right now by any artist that you're dancing around in your bedroom in your underwear to right I now? really do. Oh my God. Tell me. Um, I don't, it's sit still, look pretty. Oh, I love that song! <laughs> I'm in there like... <laughs> <laughs> That's my pump-up song. I'm like, yeah. I freaked That's good, I see? I just told pretty. Helen Keller over here that the microphones are really hot <laughs> tonight. Sorry. And he acts I'm like... Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Trump's going to call you something wrong by the end of tonight. Oh my That's God. Do you say. prefer your men in boxers or briefs? Ooh. Oh my. She's dealing with countrymans. Um, Do you only date countrymans? I'm going to add like a... Are they like lumberjackies? Yeah. Because that's hot. Are they in plaid Do they look like Kurt? Are they Kurt? 
I feel like we need the cricket noise. <laughs> yeah, Life is right on track, you guys. Um, I'm going to go with boxer briefs. Boxer briefs. I feel like oh, it's nice. No, because no, I tell you. Like that's, that's, that's very country. That's very Yeah, but Marco, hetero. Marco, do you approve of boxer I prefer I love a boxer, boxer brief. brief. See, I love a boxer brief. I am brief wearing too. a boxer brief right now. Me as well. Because it's like there's a little mystery, I'm lying, I'm but you kind of know. <laughs> and it still keeps it all. Right. You know, and everybody's tucked and well. And exactly. Everybody. How many are there? There shouldn't be that many. Okay, and then last but not least, in honor of American Horror Story, Story this week: Shag, Mary, Kill, Cuba Gooding Jr., Matt Boomer, or Evan Peters? Matt Bomber. B- bomber. Boomer. Bomber. Say it again. Shag, Mary, Kill, Cuba Gooding Jr., Matt Bomber, and Evan Peters. I Bomber. love Cuba Gooding Jr. You love him? <laughs> I love yeah. Him. What's not to love? I love him <laughs> What's act, not to love? His acting style just bugs the crap out of me. He's like, look at me, I'm acting. But you know what? I want to look at him while he's acting. I want gonna, to look at him while he's reading one. the phone book. So <laughs> I. Th- I think we answered that other question about which she dates countrymen. <laughs> I'm diverse. <laughs> <laughs> Diversified is a good thing. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Uh, where can our listeners find you? Um, uh, social media, of course. CaseyLansdale.com has my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook. I'm Casey Lansdale on everything. And you'll be back in like two weeks. Yeah, I'll see you in two weeks. Right. (laughs) Well, you're actually going to finish our show out and you're going to help us, um, along with our panel, talk. Finally, Marco, Marco, if you could put your phone down for two seconds. Marco, are you? I'm very busy. Why are you here? Are you ready? No, you are busy. I I am busy. We make a joke. I'm, I'm being bombarded. It's awful. It's like, it's like Should I tweet read it? Us a, read us. Social read us. Media tell your mom read us you'll be home in right time now. for pupusas. What? Like, just, just, like I want to know something down. that you're reading right now. <laughs> what am I reading? Yeah, like read me the last text. It's grinder, top or bottom. He's hello, like, duh. Hello, sweet one. I'm sure you're busy. <laughs> oh, he's like, no. I have the day off tomorrow, so if I can help you with anything. Please yeah. let me know. I What's that you. phone number? Oh, that's a good that's a good What's text that phone number? We can actually call that phone number. We're going to call it right now. Yeah, let's call them. That's, because we're um, talking about the big fashion show you have on Friday. Dial him up. This Call is him. actual. I love how you're saying him. But it's actually a biological female. Okay. And her phone number is. I love you said biological. I'm not gonna female. say it on the radio. Yeah. All right, just give oh, it yeah, to Kurt. Oh yeah. There you go. Do we have a name for this biological she's, female? She's also hetero, so don't oh. steal that shit. <laughs> okay, so here's, here's <laughs> he's married. So, um, but but Marco, Marco, talk so about everybody. yeah now. <laughs> talk about the show you have coming up on Friday. Mm-hmm. Just adding to. Each show gets bigger and bigger. It's honestly a fucking nightmare. It's like the worst <laughs> idea I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> but it's called Red Light, and why is it called Red no, Light? No, no, no. It's a uh, the, the show. I'm really excited about it. It's just like you know, last year we like barely made it through the ringer, and then this year I was like, you know, last year we had like 45 models in LA, 45 models in New York. We split the show in half. We did half of it in New York, half of it in LA. We barely finished the show in New York. We had two weeks to put LA together. It was a nightmare. This year I thought, oh, I'm gonna have seven models. I have 75. (laughs) (laughs) It's not a it's not a 20 minute show. It's like four hours. (laughs) And there's like singers and aerialists and yeah, but but you 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 also (laughs) use that's awesome, dude. That's amazing. (laughs) You you also Cirque du Soleil, huh? It's like it's like Cirque du Soleil, (laughs) just more gay, like like poor, (laughs) (laughs) like grungy Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, yeah, Yeah. edgy. No, say edgy. Cirque du Soleil, gay. It's it's urban. It's edgy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Marco, Marco. Yeah. But it's very skid row. You use <laughs> you use model uh, very loosely. You're like Jesus, where you hang out with drag queens, uh, prostitutes, what? porn stars. Um, so talk I about do, who do, you choose do. for your show. <laughs> no, no, no. But like, uh, but how do you choose your cast for your show? Do you sit there and look at names and you Honestly, pull what's relevant right you, now? I mean, there's a casting director. Her name is Shut Up Chanel, which is what I tell her to, con- to constantly do. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah. Uh, what? Oh, okay. Sorry, we have a guest that just used to be on the show. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Are you leaving? Some champagne. <coughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, and she's amazing, and she and you know she she scours the earth for like amazing people, but also you know. But you pull names from the headlines. Dexter too. Mayfield was a star model from the last show. It, his little clip of his walk got like fifty million views. He's phenomenal yeah. in life. He's amazing. I mean, he's just and phenomenal. the first time I saw him was at Here Bar on a Sunday night. Are we calling this yeah. person right now? Let me do this. Okay. Is this Jenza? Are you calling from Your my... call has been oh. No, Kurt, we're going to leave a message. Call back. I'm going to leave a voice message. Call from my yeah, phone. Yeah. She'll answer if it's my phone. Yeah, but but it can't... won't be on the air. Yeah. No. I don't know what you mean. It's fine. That's yeah, the yeah. point. <laughs> Hold on. So then you, you do like the final look. Text but... her and be like, I'm calling you from a weird number. 
So, you know, I saw Dexter at a bar just dancing in the middle of the floor, and I thought, if I had a club, that would be my only go-go dancer. <laughs> He's so amazing. But, you, but you, don't, you, don't, you also don't just focus on what the popular aesthetic is. Your whole statement is that you are so inclusive. In fact, I met, um, who's that kid that went viral when he was doing this on Brandon the news? Jordan. Oh. Brandon Jordan. I met him uh, at Trans Pride in Las Vegas, yeah. and he had nothing but amazing things to say about you because... Same. I thought he was going to be the... I, He's Brandon, a strong person. I thought he was going to be very annoying. Hello, but. sweet one. Hi, my love. Hi, um, this is Alexander. I'm Marco Marco's assistant, and uh, you have shown interest in volunteering <laughs> for um, helping. Of course. I would love to volunteer to help. I'm just dying to spend more time with Marco Marco. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. Just real fast. Um, so the call time tomorrow, if you can make it, is 6 a.m.? In Palm Springs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna blow my brains out. <laughs> well, we well a blow is actually on the request for Oof. tomorrow. We need to bring six uh, Starbucks uh, lattes, double soy. I don't even know how to order at Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girl. Ice americanos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who are we talking to? What's you up? What's up, everybody? Hi. Hey. You're on the air with On the Rocks Hi. Radio Show. What's your name? Oh. Genza, Genza Angeloni. Genza. Genza. Genza, please tell us about your um, stalking uh, Marco Marco. <laughs> what attracts well, you to Marco basically, Marco? Basically, yep. basically, I've loved him since he was Marco Morante. Oh, Ooh, I, Marco I can't believe you just told them my, my, my no, government name. <laughs> Drink. Oh, I I Drink. 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 Drink up. If you could describe his fashion line in three words, what would those three words be? Ooh, scandalous, Ooh. refined, refined, and dirty. Yes, Ooh. I love refined and dirty in the same description. Like I feel that way right now. I love that. Yeah. Awesome. You dirty. know what, though? That, that is a perfect way to describe yeah. the line. So we'll see you at 6 a.m. tomorrow uh, <laughs> with some Starbucks and some... and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Tell Marco Marco done, to send me the jet. Done. Sweet yeah, and low. <laughs> <laughs> Stevia. Yeah. Is that yeah. what they call the fix, sugar? I wouldn't Skinny know. Skinny and That's sweet. That's what I call him. <laughs> we'll see you then. Thank you, girl, for being on the show. I love Thanks you. So cute. Love you. Bye, baby. Ooh. So you actually started with like costume design, and you have a very definite yeah. theme. Um, and every major star has has worn you from Britney Spears, Katy Perry. Um, like we said, were you starstruck at the beginning when these major stars were looking at your designs? I, no, I wasn't. But you know. I, I was a big fan of Married with Children. <laughs> and big star in Married with Children. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Al Bundy, like, the second he said that he was having a great day, <laughs> it, everything went wrong. So, like, that was kind of like, like, that was like my religion. So I never got excited. I was always, like, very, you know. Because you expected things to not work out? I just thought the second I, like, let my guard down, something would come up. So I thought, you know, I will enjoy this moment after this moment has passed. And I think that energy, <laughs> I, I, I think that energy, just like Renee had, has really puts stars at ease to discuss with you some of I don't yeah. want this poking and you, out on you, you really this. do you really do get to see them at their most vulnerable you know and they really are very you know they, they they're torn yeah, they're, they're torn to shreds constantly yeah. and so they are guarded and it's nice for them to be able to talk to someone that isn't you know that they feel like isn't judging them or something like you so know, Marco they Ferg, sometimes want someone wants to eat bacon in their underwear and like they not should have eat someone bacon laugh in their underwear. I do that all the time. Yeah. I <laughs> literally did it today. That's the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what does a day? I have to see how many points I have left before <laughs> I get to that. <laughs> a day of work None. for you. And, and are you doing the? Are you doing the points? No, Renee, oh. I'm not. Oh, well, no, I know. Hello, people. I'm eating cookies by oh. Casey Lansdale <laughs> and drinking champagne and vodka. And, and rum. Those Excuse cookies were good. You're drinking rum. See, in my studio, oh, yeah. we don't make book cookies. We just buy them from Subway and then put them in the oven. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's not a bad good. idea. Subway cookies I burned are good. them so yeah, they think yeah. I actually did it. Yeah. <laughs> what I love about your runway shows is that anybody can watch it, and all, all the YouTube clips cover your shows from Miami, New York, L.A. Every type of person from old, young, fat, thin, gay, straight, can look at your designs and your models and be like, I can uh, uh, sympathize or I, that is me. Sure. That is me from, from Brandon James, from sure. being you know on, on the news, being like a sensation to Vicky Vox, to somebody that's maybe a little chubby, just flaunting it and walking that well, walk. I, We've all wanted to walk that walk at some point. I love that. And, and, and honestly, like the people that get the most accolades from the show tend to be the people that others might not have put in the show. And the first time I did it, I... I really don't like fashion 
or the shows. I I kind of have a, it puts a bad taste. Because you come taste. from costume design. Well, well and it just puts a bad taste in my mouth. Like I just like, <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> And Audition. like, we all, auditions auditions with Marco Marco. <laughs> yeah. The first time, you know, the first time we did it, it was really just a, it was a, it was like an AIDS benefit, which was how they like, kind of like roped me in, and I had this whole, you know, very classy collection and all these models, and and it was probably five days out, and I just thought like, I hate everything, like this is, I'm embarrassed to even be like showing this because I just I, I felt like I like sold out, and I called my business partner and I was like, what if I just destroyed everything and hired wow. all of our drag queen friends. And he is like, Chris Pasila is basically the reason I'm still alive. But like- He and I email, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no idea who you were until he told me who you were. Excuse are. me? No, 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 still I don't. The world still knows, <laughs> DJC knows who I am. Oh yeah, oh, We're gonna yeah. go buy egg beaters tomorrow. <laughs> no, but he he literally like, like, like he, the, like he is, always disagreeing with me and and i use but that disagreement that. Yeah. like you if he disagrees me on this i'm like if he disagrees then i know i'm i'm doing the right thing or if he disagrees i know i'm doing the wrong yeah, thing yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> and so, he it's the only time he's ever been like yeah that's a really good idea and i thought oh shit this is real <laughs> but do you think that the use of dial in those drag queens yeah right? i called yeah, them yeah, all yeah. that night and i said would you be in my fashion show yeah. and i replaced all the models with that's uh, a great and great it was, idea it was just like the most magical moment, you know? So you're not thinking about the business side of that because to a business I, owner... I hate business. We, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, but you have to pay the bills. Let's, no, no. Let's Chris be has to pay the bills. <laughs> uh, but that well. has to be... Some, <laughs> well, that means you're just a true artist. I just, yeah, right? Look, I yeah. feel like, you know, I feel like every time that I try and pay the bills, I just, like, you know, cut myself in half. And everybody loves the me that is, like, brazen, and that's the one that I need to be. And, you know... As long as he supports that, then we're good. That's good. Yeah. You got to find a good supporter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is very like you know together, which is the opposite of what I am. So like we make a good team. Do you think that the usage of all these unconventional items that you use for your line and you know your crazy geometric patterns do, does that add to the level of stress that is just on you all the time because you kind of want to go out of your way to do something different, or is that just how you've always been? The only. No, that's how I've always been. Yeah. The the only thing that, the only stress is like uh, logistical, you know, because the girls are always all over the world and it's not like I can just design a collection that's sample size and then put it on a bunch of models that I've chosen because of their waistline. I, some of these girls are very, you know, specific. And so like so a lot of times I have to design something just for her, just for her, just for her. You know Do what you I mean? Do you enjoy and that so, though? I love it. It's like my favorite Like as a costume part. designer, it's like now you get this character that you have to dress well, it's like in the, the theme of the movie, but it's still their character. I've always hated like when people said I was a fashion designer because I don't feel like a fashion designer because I feel like fashion designers, uh, you know, impose an aesthetic. You know, they're like, this is me. And I've just never, I've always taken my aesthetic from the people that I'm dressing because that's my job. So it's like, you know, when I'm dressing Britney or Shakira, I'm either doing Britney or Shakira or the stylist. You know what I mean? It's never it's never really me. I'll, I'll you know, I'll, I'll put a little me in there, but it's mostly them. Yeah. <laughs> and th this goes to Renee as well. When you're like working with them in the studio, like what is small talk like with these people? I, I'm, I am positive that he's way better at this than I am. <laughs> like, <laughs> do you really? just like mumble and like froth a little bit at the mouth? I'm also like a lot more like I, I'm also yeah. pretty sure I'm a lot more handsy. Like, you know, I'm, like these knuckles have been in every vagina in town. <laughs> And, <laughs> and some fake vaginas. That's yeah. what we were yeah, doing a minute ago. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. I, tried, I wanted to see I a country music and so star. I, feel, I, have to, I always have to feel like I have to uh, put on like a face and like be respectful. I, I, like. I keep my hands away from the vagina, but my hands are very much around the boobs a lot. I'm doing uh, yeah, a lot yeah. of booby but things. But like the small yeah, yeah, talk, yeah. are you talking about like, oh, did you watch this last night? Or, you know, well, I Well, it's interesting because Mark and I, Mark Zanino and I, we work together. And so Mark's actually the, the designer, even though I have a design background as well. And I help design the collections. But... We work really well together as a team because Mark is probably more like you where he's just really more about the business in, in terms of like making sure everything's fitting properly. Yeah. It's like, and whereas I'm like, hey, how's it going? Yeah, looking good. Let me see your shoes. Yeah, love the hair. Let me see what's going on. You're like, I kind of do the small talk. Yeah. And, and it work, we really work really well together as a team. So that way it's a yin and yang type of thing. So Yeah. Um, yeah. That, anyway. I used to work with my best friend Ashton and he, he does the same thing I do but for men. And he is so good at just being like 
their best friend in like eight minutes and I'm just not like I'm a secretary you know I'm like well, excuse me like can you lift your heel please but there has to be something <laughs> about you because, because your fashion line is is just it's it's all over the place we actually have a question from the chat room hey mom hi mom hi mom hey Marco hey, Marco hi mom oh Marco Marco we have to we have to drink how's that water oh yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah for hey girl you, no you for me is, who were the people who influenced you at the beginning of your career at the oh. beginning of my career um, so thank you. Uh, thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. That was a good. Question. At the beginning of my career, I was a painter. I didn't really make a lot of clothes. Um, I was very inspired by Marcel Duchamp and um, mm. the Futurists. Oh. Wow. Uh, Cubism, Futurism. That was my favorite. And uh, you know, I was a painter. I was always trying to like figure out how to like make fabric that looked like the painting. So that's why it, there's so many patches and stuff. Uh, when it got into clothes, probably. Galliano, just because he was like amazing. hot right when I was yeah. like 18, 17, 19, like in that area. And I just like didn't understand what he was doing, you know. And he made a dress once. I can't remember the collection, but it was white silk on the bias. And there was like a black flower in the middle of it. And there were no seams in the dress because the seam was the flower. Uh -huh. And so like when the seam would normally go up the side, it was like. It was like this crazy zigzag that, and and it just blew my mind. And I stared at the dress for a hundred hours. And that's so beautiful to hear. I love when designers talk about and when like it's 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 artistic people when they talk about their process. Just you can see it. Yes, too. yes, <laughs> and you get excited yeah. by it. Um, we actually have a trailer for your show on Friday, and then afterwards, I'm going to ask you what happens. In the 30 minutes after you get home from all the after parties and you're <laughs> all like, by yourself. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, we're not going to ask that. Let's look at the trailer for what's happening this Friday. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> It's almost like the Abfab movie never ended. Like, like this is like like the DVD extra. How exciting! Like, how exciting! But I really want to know. Um, it's almost like just af like an actor or performer after the show, mm -hmm. and you've said your hellos because you have to smile and shake hands a lot because it's good business. <clears throat> after the after parties, when you've hung out with the models, and it's just you as an artist, whether you live with somebody, but it's just you when you go to the bathroom afterwards to like wash up. What is going through your mind, and how do you decompress? Uh, like, I want to know this from everybody. I have no um, recollection of what happens after the show. Like, so, like, do you get I, drunk I, and I, all I, that? I, apparently, I spoke, like, for 30 minutes with my cousins on the last show. and I don't, It was a Trump I speech. It was really I don't, weird. I don't remember them going. It's a little odd, I'll be honest. Yeah, I, you're, like, you're right. Like, the smile is on for so long yeah. that it, it all just becomes kind of, like, it all blurs away. And, so you don't and remember honestly, when you crawl into bed? No, no, no. I'm, I'm alone. I'm... I'm Unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, th I have to How say, you're probably just wiped out because yeah, after I, all, sleep, after, I mean, I you're just like, you're just, you want to like, finally unplug. Just you don't take right. a minute and be like, "Wow, that worked." No, no, no. That no. happens like a week later. Okay, all right. Yeah. I, I do. When you start looking at the footage, <laughs> when I see, the, I have to see footage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> after a show or after any kind of performance. I don't ever want to see or hear it ever again. Right. I want to go based on how I feel. Do I feel like that went well? Do I feel like the audience responded? And that's all that matters to me is do I feel good about it? And Because if I go back and watch it or I go back and listen to it, I can pick you every pick single apart. thing apart. And that's just not good for anybody. So I like to go home and just say, you know what? Just turn it into a horror novel okay. instead. Right. Just, just make it a really <laughs> I, scary book. I agree and disagree because I've heard that Joan Collins never watches her own performances. But and, Margaret, and Margaret hates watching herself on screen. But don't so, you yeah. learn from seeing like... Oh, I, I missed that, and I should do that later. I just think that you can I learn from that. I think you feel that. it, though. Yeah. I don't. I think at this point, it's like you don't really need to watch it. You know when you did mm. something wrong, or you know when you missed something. You know, and yeah, so, that's true. Yeah, you know when you yeah. fuck up. You do. You really do. You know. But can you pinpoint when it happened, though? I, I think it's good actually to watch those things over because I mean I'm I 
with the I have a radio show also called Living Out Loud that we do down in um, San Pedro and like plug 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 but I'm sure like you listen to some of your own shows right when you have the time I always actually Alexander I will say this Alexander is so hot right now it's not me oh my god our game is on right oh my god he How much is fun the are we biggest. Having, right? <laughs> yeah. Alexander loves to give constructive criticism, and he is never happy. Pages of notes. Um, <laughs> like he he he'll be like, "Oh, that was a great show," but there's still all of this. We actually listen. I'm to a perfectionist, the show. though. That's, that's, a, good that's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's a good thing to yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. That's what a good I do quality. is different from 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 what from from what you guys do, yeah. though. But it just it just interests me, like who like watches their stuff over and over. Yeah, yeah, it's a good <sighs> thing. Yeah, I wa- every year of like right before the show, I watch the first show. And I watch it over and over. And, and see, I can't watch anything except for that one show. Like they do all these little YouTube things. I never watch those. But that first show was so like an accident. And and there's something just so like crystalline about it. Like it's just perfect. And I'm always trying to like figure out how to like, you know, capture recapture that, that. You know, but it's you, you can't because you know, you can't like you can't feign that stuff. Like it just happens. So like. I think that's it also organically why happened. Right? Yeah, and that's yeah, also yeah, why yeah. we're like always trying to yeah. switch it up and like you know kind of throw it back under the bus because it's like that sense of pressure and and stress is is good. You know, it's like that good art. You know, is made in that kind of fire. Marco, Marco, uh, this I was emailed this question many times before you came on. It's in many of your pictures, you hide your face, almost in like all of Sia. My so I Before need to make- Sia, let's be clear. Yes, yeah. you you made it okay for Sia. Yes, you're a trendsetter. That's inspiration. Why. To song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is that about? Um, uh, it's I, it's so like you know. No, there's I don't. So That's many different asking. versions. I, honestly, my sister and I started because my parents were like obsessed with taking pictures, and we hated it. And That's so very like, and so like you know, what well, you're Christmas La- Latino? parties. Are you I, Latino? Like I'm Puerto Rican. Yeah. Oh god. Half Puerto Rican, half Dominican. So. We let you in the studio. I, I know. I had to go through three extra security. You thought España. So like you know, we would we got into this thing that every Christmas party they they you know what they do is they just sit in the corner and like sneak pictures on the snow because they know. so we would like stand with a fist in front of our face and just That's like so literally funny. and then you know. <laughs> I got to West Hollywood. I broke up with my boyfriend. I started. What's going his to number? Bars. <laughs> Let's call him. We should call him. Let's call him. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, but but you know what? That's actually a good question. <clears throat> is is it hard to date people because you deal with models all the time? Yeah, I'll never date anyone again, probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what? Thanks. But like, but like uh, individual artists Stephen and like is Casey. My, Stephen is my uh, non-husband, and that's it. <laughs> NBF, non-boyfriend. <laughs> oh, you guys are so cute. I wish I cared. Anyway, no, no, it's so cute, honestly. But it must be very hard. And and Casey, as a musician, we've never delved into your personal life. And Renee, and you know, no, no we got the sheet before she came. Remember the things that we couldn't talk about? <laughs> no. Did you get? Did you, did you submit one? I didn't get one. Do that. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Unless I was black man, black man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it must be really hard. I mean, you have models in your face all the time, and they're like, "Put me in the runway show." And P.S. When are you going to put us in the runway show? Um, but tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow, yeah, really together. <laughs> but you know, it just when you have so much creative energy going all the time, and and Renee too. You know, it's so hard to like. But I'm around attention. female models all the time. I'm not around a lot of guy models because of no, what no, we but, do. But, 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 but is there in a much of a difference? Position. Is, is, it, is, is it a difference? I'm not talking about like dating them. I'm yeah, talking yeah. about the outside world saying, it "Oh, you're a, a singer, you're a designer, and yeah. I, I have to like." You're almost kind of wary about anybody that sends you a message or flirts with you. It's like, what? What do they want? So, as professionals in everything. the entertainment they want world, everything. everything. <laughs> Actually, I love they it when they. Who are you guys? I love it when they flirt with, with me. I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I'm right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think it's. I'm flattered by it when people approach me and want to flirt. Oh, I, I, I'm always I like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm pissed. <laughs> it pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> like this. Right, get away. Your from me. Like, no, like, get away from me. Like, yeah. The models are always like su- models have always been like super professional. I feel like I think that people have this idea. But you're professional that too. I feel like people have this idea that they're hungry and. That's never been my experience. I yeah. I have experienced that, but it's it's never with them. It's with like the people that are 
the people that are like Hanging on the out. side. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. that, that yeah. kid from Reseda. <laughs> I'm sorry, Reseda, that I said that, but you know it's you. <laughs> <laughs> pizza, is pizza. That, okay. Is that the end of the empire? <laughs> yeah. Casey, is, is it hard to date in the music industry? Yeah. <laughs> Impossible. I, I think it's it's one of those things. I think also because I'm a female doing what is typically a male dominated field. And I think also because I travel a lot and I think that it's very hard for men to sit back and watch me be the center sometimes uh, during mm. this thing. And not in life, but when you're in a performance. And I think it's more socially acceptable for the female to be the one who's sort of uh, backing up the male. And especially, you know, I'm from the South. I'm from the Deep South. And that's that's always been something that's been complicated and another reason why I love California. But it definitely is a challenge. You know, hi, nice to meet Did, you. See you in three months. I'm going on tour. Yeah. You know? but, but also it, to your music, your, your, your music has some teeth to it. And you really do have... Uh, Control. It's it's great. This has been such such. I, I cannot believe what time it is, it is right fun. now. It's eight twenty four. We still have a live her performance. Earrings are Texas. Ah. I don't know if you guys know this. Yes. I've been dying to say it the whole time. <laughs> They're literally Texas. <laughs> they are. I'm very. <laughs> She's got oh Texas God, earrings. Are. Oh my God. Oh, I, Marco. I, I I wanted to know this personally. Who chooses the music for your runway? Is it you? Um. It, I, it is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Shame smooth. <laughs> I collect. I sing cabaret music, just so you know. How you're, sexy would that in, be? You're in. Can you I, imagine yeah. all that jazz and people are walking down the aisle? I do a lot of. Out. I do a lot of collecting during the year of like things that I like and sounds. But um, you know, I always work with a DJ or, or a musician of some sort. Right, this uh, show and the last show we did in Miami, Hector Fonseca, he has a label and he sends me all of his tracks and we kind of collaborate and I put Very my cool. fingers in every pot. Well done, well, I've heard Alex. That. Well done. <laughs> and, and your knuckles in every vat. It's my grinder profile. <laughs> Marco, we have the rapid fire with you. Oh, shit. Are, are you, do you mind putting the phone I'm down? Listening, I'm listening. I'm oh my listening. God. My business partner's like, He's what very time busy, are you babe. done? Get very back busy. here. <laughs> Five minutes, BP. That's business partner. Yeah, I got it. I got okay. it. I like it. Worst fashion fad. What's worst what? Fashion fad. Uh, Crocs with the little bobbles in them. Just say Crocs. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Either way. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite drink. Favorite drink, uh, warm vodka, cold whiskey. Well, you had warm vodka today. Oh no! No, you gave me cold vodka, vodka and then pissed about it. Is there is there such a thing as too skinny in fashion? Uh, no answer. Oh, favorite movie. Favorite movie, uh, First Wives Club. Yes. <laughs> Love that. Oh, that's good. Least favorite part of runway shows. Least favorite part of runway shows. All of the part that I have to do. <laughs> so tell us about the show. The walk. The walk at the end when they make me walk and I want to cover my face, but I can't see the runway. Oh, my God. Mark yeah, Zeno yeah. hates that, too. Uh, yeah, he can't stand that. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's like Meryl Streep saying, no, I'm not going to go to the Academy Awards <laughs> this year. So then are there I still... totally get her. <laughs> are there still tickets available for your show? For there people are to tickets get? available. Where can uh, they get them? Where you are we get... sitting, by the way? You're sitting... Uh... On your lap. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm on their lap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, MarcoMarcoShowTix.com. Uh, they're not T-I-X. that expensive, so T-I-X. stop asking me if I have an extra ticket, because I don't. If That's I did, so ratchet. I'd give Stop them all asking away. Marco, Marco, if he has an extra ticket. Stop you ratchet, ticket. bitches! I just asked him. Before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was talking back to I'm you. I'm talking to you. <laughs> you guys, what what a fun fun show! Um, we're gonna finish the show uh, with Casey Lanza. Another live performance. Taking us out. All right. Uh, we're gonna show funny uh, YouTube clips, but well, we have we no time. We we had enough fun with with, with our guests that we didn't have Ever to show. Yeah, yeah, As yeah. usual, we have to give a big thank you to. Kurt Kurt, uh, the straight guy that Thank puts you, up Kurt. with us. Thank you, Kurt. I just Thank have you, to Kurt. give. I just have to give a big shout out. You know, our, our show is is old Hollywood, new Hollywood. Um, so uh, coming on the show, Joanne Worley's coming back on the show with Fred Willard. So excited. We're so excited. <laughs> um, uh, we have Armin Shimmerman from Star Trek talking about Trekkies against Trump. Amazing. <laughs> we have some big names that are calling in, and I'm not going to drop them now, but. Big Star Trek names. <gasps> Chris Pine. Oh my God, I didn't say Hey, it. all right. No, there's a lot of exciting and fun things on the horizon. We'll be in Palm Springs for the next two days. If you're in Palm Springs, like, say hey. Um, before Casey starts singing, though, where can all of our listeners yeah, find you, Renee? What's your social media uh, handle? I'm at, uh, you can just find Renee. I'm Renee Horsch on Facebook and then uh, at Renee underscore Horsch on Instagram. And it's H O R S C H. Yep. And Marco Marco, you can just basically my God, type Marco Micro anywhere. <laughs> um, 
I am the real Eric Recibo Rentboy.com. on the rocks. Uh, Rent Boy, yes. Yeah, what's our YouTube link? I don't know our YouTube link. Go to our Instagram and Twitter at On the Rocks on Air. You can find us uh, on Facebook at On the Rocks Radio Show. And Eric is monitoring our blog, which is very sassy, by the way. It's On the Rocks I curse. Radio Show. I curse in it. WordPress. And we have yes. very interesting things to say. Casey, real fast. And Vince White. Yeah. Casey Lansdale. No, I know Vince White. I know. <laughs> no, your social, social media. Social oh, media. I'm CaseyLansdale.com. I've got um, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all Casey Lansdale. And With Vince, a K. And Vince White, where, where can we find you? VinceWhiteGuitar.com. Bam. Oh, I love it. Yeah. And don't forget, yeah. Stephen Deller was such a fun time. You guys, this was a really, really fun show. We're going to give a final shout goodbye, but why don't you take us away with some style? Okay. A little classic for you. Yeah. I go out walking after midnight Out in the moonlight Just like we used to do I'm always walking after midnight Searching for you I walk for miles along the highway Well, that's just my way Oh, saying I love you, I'm always walking After midnight searching for you I stop to see a weeping willow Crying on his pillow Maybe he's crying for me And as the stars can blow me The night wind whisper to me I'm lonesome as I can be I go out walking after midnight Out in the moonlight Just hoping you may be somewhere walking After midnight searching for me Play us something else Yeah! To see a weeping willow crying on his pillow, maybe he's crying for me. And as the stars can blue me, the night wind whisper to me, I'm lonesome as I can be. I go out walking after midnight, out in the moonlight, just hoping you may be somewhere walking. After midnight searching for me Always searching for me Always searching for me <laughs> Casey Lansdale, Vince Woo! Woo! Yeah! Also, thank you, Mama Rose, in the chat room. Thank you, everybody. We will see you next week. Woo! been On the Rocks with Alexander every Tuesday at 7 p.m. on Universal Broadcasting Network. Find me on Facebook on On the Rocks Radio Show. Tweet me or Instagram me at On the Rocks On Air. See you next Tuesday!